Why is One Piece awesome? Now, I get a lot of questions people asking me, yo, for never, why is One Piece awesome? Why should I check it out? Why should I get into it? And today, I'm going to talk about just that. What's so special about One Piece? Why you should check it out? Because, believe it or not, a lot of people are still not into One Piece. And they ask me, you know, what do you think about it? Why, why is it so special? Why do you review it? Why do you love it so much? So, let's get started. And by the way, I'm also going to talk about my favorite three straw hats out of the nine of them thus far. So, definitely, I got to start off by saying one of the things that makes One Piece awesome and special is the friendship and the, the shonen-esque thing to it that is just far beyond words when it comes to the series. And what I mean by shonen-esque is that it takes the friendship value of, you know, what a lot of shonen manga and anime like to do, but it puts it in such a special way because there's nine characters at the moment that are a part of the Straw Hat crew. And the thing about it is, first of all, all of them have their own personalities. A lot of them have their own agendas, you know, what they want to do, uh, whether it be that Zoro wants to be the number one swordsman, whether it be that Usopp just wants to be a big and well-known pirate and, you know, just a leader, whether it be any of their goals but at the end of the day when it comes down to it they all care about each other's goals and they all care about helping each other out and there's just something really special the way Oda wrote this series Eiichiro Oda is the uh, writer of this particular series and he just wrote it so that all the characters just have something very incredible about them and I don't mean Nami and Robin's big tits being serious like all the characters really just have something lovable and likable about them whether it be Luffy's gullibleness but at the same time adventuring spirit whether it be Nami's playfulness getting ready to rob you but at the same time she's gonna have your back whether it be choppers jokes whether it be any of the crew there's something really likable and lovable about them that you can really just sit back and enjoy and you know whether times get real serious and they can Saba the artsy Lago and Whitebeard War, or they're just having a good time and kicking back and having a good end of the day celebration. There's something about these characters that really just make you want to keep on watching. What are they going to do next? What is their next adventure? And that's something really that makes One Piece just awesome is that it's this adventure that it's already so long and at the same time it feels so short because every adventure is just almost as though you can break it down to a bunch of different animes in one because each adventure just has so much to it that it feels like you just watch an entire anime and it's just one of their adventures and isn't that freaking awesome i mean it's so long but yet every arc feels as though it's his own adventure and a lot of people ask me for never it's really long do you think i should skip an arc and my answer to that is you don't need to catch up at the moment yeah it's awesome and i would love to have everybody caught up and talking about it with me weekly because it's just awesome to you know discuss the new material and what's going on but i say start off at the beginning read it or watch it at your own pace and by no time you'll love it so much and keep marathoning it that you'll be caught up and that's your true goal and you really want to talk about the current stuff i mean there's really no need to rush unless you really really desperately like to be caught up with stuff and if that's the case then you really will miss out on some of the greatness that one piece has to offer to be honest with you one piece really just has this thing about it where you will care about the main character so much and at the same time you will want to see them laugh you want to see them when they're down and see them triumph and see them you know just overcome the odds and that's something about one piece that is really special each and every character a part of those straw hat pirates is just you know special characters and they really just have more to them than meets the eye so why is one piece awesome because the main characters are just phenomenal as well as the villains you got villains that'll make you want to hurt them there's villains that'll make you laugh there's villains that'll make you cry there's something about this series that each and every character feels developed beyond belief. There's mysteries to the series that keep you going. A lot of mysteries. There's some series that, you know, have a few mysteries here and there. But there's so much to the One Piece story that really keeps you going. It just keeps you like, I want to know what, what does this mean? What was Oda foreshadowing in the beginning? What it stands for. The, the spirit to keep on going and, you know, help your friends out and find new friends and just go on adventures. In a short, One Piece is just awesome. Now let's talk about my favorite three straw hats of all time. Now there's nine straw hats currently. There might be more in the future but as of right now i want to talk about my favorite three straw hats out of the nine of them starting off with number three is definitely chopper because this character literally makes me laugh like 85 to 95 percent of the time that he's on screen he's always doing something funny there's always something hilarious about chopper whether it be something of him laughing because they're complimenting him and he's like oh stop it you bastards whether it be that he's you know going monster form wh whether it's something just anything that he's doing at this point is really just always either hilarious or heartfelt and that's something really that i love about the character sure he's not the strongest um you know he can't go up against some of the hockey users he can't do some of these incredible things that like zoro and 
Sanji and Luffy can do, but he still just has so much spunk to him, and he's, he's just really a, a cool little character, and I definitely love him, and he's uh, number three of my favorites. Number two was actually a hard one, because I always go back and forth between one and two, who are my two uh, favorite straw hats, and believe it or not, it's probably uh, not somebody that you would expect. My second favorite straw hat of all time is definitely Robin. To me, her past is probably one of the most saddest passes I've seen in a while, especially in anime and manga. It, it was just so heartfelt to see when, you know, she got away. And I don't want to put too many spoilers in here, but to see when she got away and she kept doing that laugh, head is she, 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 it really just brought tears to my eyes to see this little girl and everything that she went through. And, you know, she's really uh, conservative, really relaxed. You know, out of all the straw hats, I believe she's one of the oldest, except maybe like Brooke, but, you know, no skull jokes here. And, you know, she's just really chilled and relaxed, but at the same time, she can throw down. She's serious. There's so much development to this character. Again, I don't mean her big tits. That really just is enjoyable and something that I could just kick back and say, yeah, Robin's right there. She's cool. She's badass. Finally, number one. A lot of people didn't like him at first, but to me personally, he's my number one favorite straw hat, and that is Usopp. When I see Usopp, in my opinion, the series is being seen through his eyes. Because out of all the straw hats, to me, Usopp is the most normal and the one that you can relate to probably the most because Usopp is not with all these fantastical powers sure he's gotten stronger after the time skip but to him is like he's looking at all these people that can do these fantastical things you know Luffy can beat the best of them Zoro can slash the best of them Sanji can kick the, with the best of them Usopp is really just a normal guy and he's seen the, the world of you know this one piece world and he's always amazed at it he at, at times can be scared which a lot of you know normal people would be scared of some of these fantastical things but at the same time he has heart and in my opinion out of all the straw hats from the beginning up to where we at right now currently in the manga punk hazard i feel as though he's developed the most because his character he starts off really just like scared of a lot of things and then now his bravery has slowly started to show and you know he's just developed a lot and i really love love uh, Usopp to see him triumph. I hope he accomplishes his goal and his dream. He's just a kick-ass character and I love to laugh and cry and you know everything that's happened with that character up till now has just been awesome. What do you guys think? Let me know. First of all, why is One Piece awesome to you? What makes One Piece so awesome that keeps you going? You know, 600 plus chapters, 500 plus episodes. What makes One Piece awesome and who are your three favorite straw hats of all time? But that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for One Piece being awesome because you you know, it never gets, in my opinion, enough praise because a lot of people, they, they say One Piece is awesome, but, you know, it already has its popularity. It don't need me to say it. And, no, I think that if I love something as much as I love One Piece, hence the back, then I'm going to praise it. I'm Fennel World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.